Regarding the infrastructure issues in um, the African region, I think it's the main issue. Um, gas is ample, um, not in all countries, but in most countries. And what we've come to realize is actually the delivery of gas that is inhibiting the entire um, sector in terms of power, in terms of industry, for the pet cams and all the others. Um, what we've come to also realize is that the finance to fund the infrastructure is the real problem whereby people um, do not have mid to long term financing and everything we find available in the market today is short term. If we see a collective effort by either a lot of um, multilateral organizations or you see where the traders or even the governments come together and actually fund projects which can then um, I'd say have like a gas master plan kind of concept. That would then help the um, extraction of gas and the delivery of gas for the appropriate reason because it's sickening when you see things like um, like I said earlier in the conference where we go and buy gas in the US and in Nigeria for example we're exporting gas how do you export and then import the same product and nothing different it's the same thing for LNG um, we run the biggest power plant in um, sub-Saharan Africa, in Egni, and over there we are inhibited by um, gas supply. We, on the average, our capacity is 1,320. We're generating less than that, which is about, about half of that. And most times, apart from the evacuation issues with the power lines, is um, the gas supply. So it's, 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 it's a no-brainer. I, I would say it's the world economy. Um, as usual, Africa benefits when the rest of the world has benefited. We are the um, second, um, second cousins, we are the second fiddle, and most times we have to learn to fend for ourselves and deliver these infrastructure um, projects ourselves. It's difficult because it's very, very demanding. And with the last recession in most African countries, I'm, I can tell you it was difficult for any government or anyone to invest in mid to long term projects. If it was a short term project, we'd have had so much investment. But because of the um, long VT or the, or the long span to deliver these projects, an average pipeline, you're talking of uh, or average gas master plan would take you three years to plan, probably another three to four years to deliver. And in that, you're going to keep on spending on consultants, you're going to have to buy the long lead items two to three years earlier. And then in eight to ten years, politically, it's suicide for anyone because you'd have they would have left whichever government before you start to see the benefit. So it has to be beyond just a political decision. It has to be a regional decision. It has to be a collective decision. And you also have to bring in the different industries, either create a separate tax or create something else. Otherwise, you said two, three years, in another 10 years, we'll still be talking about it. We get the best out of it. And, and it, it's a necessity. It's, um, it's, it's, it's not voluntary. It's, I would say it has become necessary because this is a place where we get all the information we require. We do a lot of networking. This is a place where you hear Africa as Africa really is because it's actually been delivered by an African company. So it's, it's a, it's a well-packaged program and it's, um, it's like doing a continuous PhD program. So I, I, I do thank you guys for the quality of delivery and um, for the depth of which we get in this conference all the time.